day three. It is unexpectedly raining. It is about time to strike tent, and we were supposed to go see ruins today. But we're not sure if that's going to happen. Hey adventurers, we look a little crazy today. It is raining and we are still going to go out and hike the ruins. So we came up to the visitor center over here and we're about to go check it out, see what they have, and then hit up some ruins before we head on to our next spot. So... We are out at Chaco. It is super cold out here today, but we are paying reverence to those who have come before us looking at the ruins, which the Indian culture actually does not call ruins, but in fact a place of living, breathing spirit because it is a place of their ancestors. So we're going to be extremely respectful and show you around. It is amazing, these buildings that are here. They've been here for ever basically and uh, they're cut right outside of the mountain. There's a lot of petroglyphs here, a lot of native wildlife, flowers, things like that, and the land is completely untouched, meaning tourists aren't allowed to take things with them. They are asked to pay reverence to those who were here before them. So today, we're gonna take a little tour through the chocolate. Are now in what is considered the heart of Chaco. High atop, you can overlook the entire canyon and see all of the different things that were going on in this particular area. Now, while some of the buildings are a little bit more dilapidated than others, you can see the basic layout of this particular thing. All of them were formed in D shapes, and it's pretty impressively awesome. if you brought the correct friend with you on your camping trip. Just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Pajamas are essential. And we have it figured out. 